sends me the Halloween channel. Today we're going to be going over a sneak peek that was released a while ago. Why am I talking like this? So, we're going to be talking about a sneak peek uh, called Lord Dockenbar. If you're a haunter or, um, yes, if you're a haunter or someone who likes your Halloween, you know about it. I'm not going to say you probably know because you will know about it if you're a fan of Spirit Halloween. Spirit Halloween released Lord Dockenbar on November 25th, I think, or November 24th. I don't really remember, but it was like a day or two before Thanksgiving. And uh, I filmed a video the day he came out. I filmed a video the day he came out um, on him. And I was just editing that video and editing that video, and I put so much editing into it that my editing app kept crashing and it kept like deleting the editing parts, and it was so annoying. So, um, I just kept, I'm like, I'm gonna upload this video. I'm gonna do it. And then I decided, you know what, no, I'm not gonna torture myself to get this video out. But I decided I still wanna do a Lord Octavar video, even if it's extremely late. So, I'm filming another one. Um, I'm gonna try to get this one out pretty soon, um, but I'm not sure how long it will take for me to get it out. So, here's my decorated room for Christmas, by the way. Do you like it? So, we're going to be talking about Lord Dockenbar and close that tab, thank you. So, Lord Dockenbar is a spirit Halloween prop that got released um, on November 25th, I said that, I said that already. And it's this hanging vampire, I apologize for this video being extremely late, um, but you know. <gasps> I realize I've never changed this, where is, what day is it? I don't know what day it is, it's the 13th. That's better. I don't even know if you would see that calendar. Maybe I just did that for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're gonna be talking about Lord Dockenbar. I think that's how you pronounce it. Either it's Lord Dockenbar or Lord Dekonbar. But, um, uh, it's spelled Lord Dekonbar. Um, because it's D A. Actually, I'm not gonna spell it because I don't really remember how it's spelled. So, we're going to react to his YouTube video and his, um, sorry about the background noise downstairs. So Lord Dr. Farce, you hold me. Okay, it was two weeks ago. I thought it was longer than that, but we're going to react to this YouTube video and then we're going to take a look at the website. So let's re react to the YouTube video. Let's turn it up. You'll see it on screen somewhere. Listen to your heartbeat. <laughs> so strong. So loud. <laughs> Did I say reacting to the video? We're going to react to his YouTube video. Um, or did I say just looking at it? Because we're not, we're not reacting. I did reactions from Mr. Halloween 2020 sneak peek. She don't, we don't need to play this again, again. Um, I did reactions from Mr. Halloween 2020 sneak peeks for most of them. Um, towards the end, I got tired of editing the reactions and filming them. Uh, so I just switched to voiceovers instead, but I think I'm gonna switch back to reacting videos. Um, the reason I didn't like doing that is because I didn't have a proper filming setup last time and it just didn't work out that well. Um, but anyway, yeah. So this is not a reaction, but we're just gonna be discussing it and looking at it. Okay, they uploaded this on November 28th, but he was released um, a few days before that, I think. So, um, here's the description. Lord Dockenbar by his time waiting for the Resurgence of, I don't know what that word is, of his family's power and to once again reign over the land beyond the forest. As he patiently waits to regain his seat of power, he takes solace with the few travelers. What? Why are they using these complicated words? Sol, whatever that word is, with the few travelers that visit his humble manor to assist him with the family business. Their long journey leaves them feeling drained and dead tired, and they often find themselves staying with their host overnight, or if he's lucky forever. Um, um, that's whatever, I don't really care about the descriptions, they don't mean anything. Anyway, um, so, 4.8 foot hanging, well, no, I don't want 20% off, goodbye. Hanging Lord Dunbar Vampire Animatronic Decorations. He's $180 or $179.99 plus one cent equals $180. Thank you, genius. So he's got this picture, um, which is the main picture. He's got, uh, another picture and a close-up. And uh, that picture, some side pictures. I'll probably put the pictures on the screen, maybe, I don't know. Um, it's more work for editing me, so you know, I don't like editing, uh, but whatever. 
Also, I do apologize for the echo in here. This room is really empty right now. It looks kind of crowded here, but on the floor there's literally like nothing except some papers. You can't really um, hear the echo that much in real life, but it's um, it's really noticeable in the video and I apologize for that. So I'm probably going to put some stuff in here, like animatronics and stuff, to make it less echoey because that really bothers me. So yeah, I apologize for the echo. It's not like an echo! echo. But it's just like the sound keeps going on, and I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really annoying. You can probably tell, so you might be really annoyed by it, and I apologize. Let's watch the um, website video. It's 32 seconds, so the website videos are longer, they don't have any extra background noise. <laughs> Come, let me listen to your heartbeat. <laughs> so strong, so alive, it will be mine. <laughs> the glowing red eyes, and I just realized they. You should not have come I here. Know what that was. Now I will follow you, you like until you out. give me it's what I need. Blood. Come on, look at the way he says it. Blood. Then there's the logo at the end. Um. So. Uh, I think this guy is pretty cool. Some people have actually bought him. I know Brick Thunder bought him. Mr. Halloween Junkie bought him. Uh, Halloween Haunter bought him. But, uh, some, some Haunters bought him, and I liked him, um, but his speaker quality, his audio quality is really, like, not good that much. So, I, I don't like his speaker audio quality, but this is enough for YJ hanging prop, like, Lady Bag of Jokes or Cocoon Corpse or um, Zombie Bait is another one. This, um, the other ones, like Bloody Bag of Jokes and those ones I just mentioned, I'm pretty sure those are all five feet. This one's 4.8 feet, so um, it's a little shorter. Um, I don't know, maybe all the ones were 4.8 feet, but I thought they were like 5.2 feet or something. I don't know. I, I think he's a little shorter. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. He already does have three reviews now. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, and they all got five star reviews, so he's a really cool prop. Sadly, he is online only, and he has a 07 um, item number code, and uh, it says online only right there, so you know. Um, but I think this guy is really cool, and I'm excited to, well, I was going to say I'm excited to see him in the stores, but he's online only. I'm excited to... I don't know what I'm excited about. <laughs> I'm excited for next year's sneak peeks from Spirit Halloween. That's what I'm excited about because I'm not going to see this guy in stores and I'm probably not going to purchase him. So, you know, um, anyway, that was this sneak peek video. I feel like I forgot to talk about something, but I don't know what it is. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, how long have I been filming for? Because I tend to film too long. Okay, good. Only 11 minutes. Last time I filmed this video, um, I filmed it for like 25 minutes, so I, it won't be as much of a nightmare editing this video. So, um, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, tell me in the comments below what you think about Lord Dr. Parr, um, please don't hate me for having this video come out so late, in the middle of December, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching once again, because I always say thanks for watching twice for some reason, and I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.